Welcome along to The Breakfast Breakdown. My name is John Gooden, alongside my coach Dave Lee, and we have enjoyed watching the latest UFC, where Sean Brady did something that we don't see very often in the Octagon, Dave. Mounted guillotine. Well, as I was saying earlier, I think he just wanted his, his back piece on screen. <laughs> Not a bit. Just wanted a bit of camera time for the tattoo, I think. Yeah, we spot it. He got it to fucking smirk and smile with the way that he, he got that in, but... What did you see there, Dave? Because he was def he definitely hunted the net. Felder on commentary is a training partner of his, and uh, and he basically said that's his go-to. Yeah, I mean, he was saying that he's never felt a squeeze like he has when he's training. So I would imagine that um, that's partly do why he goes for that move is partly because he's he's matched in balance, strength and technique together, um, which makes a bit of an animal. Maybe if you, you know, they say, brick shit out as well. Well, they say technique is, you know, is always best, but a little bit of strength and a little bit of technique together is a completely different animal. So I think that's probably, and you see him, it's, it's inch perfect what he's doing. Yeah. And he knows where he's going and it just gets, it just gets put straight on and you can see Mate, he gets the shudders yeah. before he's even thinks about he's trying to get out and he's, then he's, he's put out. out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's, it looks like a tight position. Yeah, I think he's a black belt as well, so we've definitely got uh, the highest level of skills. Uh, so let's take a look, Dave. Show us how how us normal people can get this in the gym. Uh, well, it looks like when they, when they go to the ground, they need a great power double and yeah. blast him through that. So that was pretty cool. But it looks like as soon as he gets to the ground, he's trying to wrap that neck up. And it's kind of almost like he's in the guard a little bit, but not the legs around, the legs are kind of underneath him a little bit. So it's almost like he's gone for the guillotine and there's a scramble that gets initiated, but it's almost like he's okay with the scramble because he knows he wants the top. But it's almost like he's almost swept in from that guard and that guillotine position and then ended up on top hunting for his leg. So it's like he goes to this, so basically the guillotine, what I'm trying to do is put John's neck between my bicep and my forearms, or my biceps and my forearm, and I'm trying to squeeze. Now, one way is to kind of get my forearm on the throat and squeeze the neck, take the air out of my opponent, and the other way is to try and clamp my biceps and my forearm onto the side of the neck to take the blood away. So, either or is I'm okay with, as long as they tap, that's great. But normally what happens when you wrap the head here for the guard is I'm normally up and lifted and trying to take his air away. So this way is more predominant for me to lift this forearm into the neck. But what happens as you see in this position, it's almost like he scrambles out and he goes off to the side, which is fine because what happens, he follows him up. And now here, as I was saying to John earlier, if I try to keep my hands here, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm losing my ability to defend my position. Because if you see, he's trying to grab the leg here, almost like he's fishing this in to get the, the guillotine. But I can still get it here, but obviously he wants to get out. So he will be moving like, like he's, like he's, there's no other thing to do in life but to get out of this move. And the other thing I think he was doing was it, it's almost like you go for the other hand, the choking arm, right? Yeah. So, so he's trying to it. pull the arm off, yeah. so he's going to pull this away, which yeah. is fine. He didn't need to do that. Yes. Yeah. And then what happens here, as soon as he gets that mount, if I keep my hands here in the mount, I kind of get stuck in a position. Because now all I have to keep me sort of up a bit is my head on the mat, keep my balance. So if I lose my grip with the hand and just keep my hand here, then I've got much more base. You can feel it, John. If I'm here like this, trying to do the guillotine here, you can feel like, I got it, but it's not out of the realms of possibility that he bridges me over into the into the, the guard position. Like You could probably get out of there, John, right? 
bridge yeah. me to the side. Yeah, look. And, you know, it's not nice. I could finish it, maybe, but you've got a chance, right? Whereas if I'm here and I just got this one arm in, now I try to bridge again. It's not going because I can spread my base out a lot. And all you kind of do here is put this hand, I clamp with my, with my body, my belly, my chest, whatever I can, I just clamp it down with my body and this way I just arch in. And all I do is I arch, push the pressure like a spool and just squeeze and you get the tap. It's just such a strong position. I'm pretty sure he's got a bigger bicep than me as well. Probably does a little bit more working out. But it's such a strong position. If you get if you if you get that all the time in the gym, mm. that's one of your moves. There's not really much you can do in the bottom to get out because it's spray. Yeah. You know, there's there's not much for them to do as in the way of counting it. Right? Because you're one, the thing is, is you're panicking. Yeah. So you'll be scrambling for the neck, and he's already removed that. Oh, I got rid of the. Oh, I got rid of the arm. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. He was focused. Oh, okay, he's going to stop the hands getting together. He's going to. And but it was almost like he baited it. It's like, yeah. ah, you don't need that. Yeah, and then you got to understand if you're trying to escape something and you get rid of. Oh, oh no. Yeah. What's that? In? Oh no, that didn't. And by the time you figure out it didn't work. He was unconscious. Yeah. The only other time I've seen something similar was uh, Rockhold versus Bisbee. I want to. I might try and put that in the video because Rockhold's a different body type, and I feel like he really arched his back. And it was you could see a lot of maybe the rack was different, but I'll put that in so we can just compare and contrast. The different body types obviously have a different. Yeah, I mean the, again, the guillotine sometimes happens here like this, but a deep guillotine is when you get that elbow kind of under the throat. And then you're not only trying to cut the air off from the throat, you're trying to clamp the forearm and the biceps on the neck. Yeah. So now it's blood and air, which just makes for an interesting afternoon. Yeah. Or evening. Depending. Or evening. Whatever he wakes up. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe. Check out the other breakdowns in the whole little series on Fight Island. So, yeah. Dave Lee, John Gooden, thanks for watching.